we have our new water filtration system here at telemetry. I'm going to show you guys that people have been asking questions. We have uh, first is kind of a pre-filter. This is 30 microns. Make sure no large uh, debris gets into the softener. And then our softener uh, here, it, uh, if you look at it, we kind of half soften it because the water coming in is too hard because it can damage the membranes of the RO but we don't want to soften it all the way because we still want some of that calcium so we half soften it here and then we go to our, our RO system this is where all the fun happens we have uh, an inline TDS meter measuring our incoming we're at let's see if you can see here uh, a little over 400 TDS all the time uh, we have the water comes into three separate filters uh, this is like a 10 micron these are carbon filters they take out the chlorine the fluorine uh, and then the RO system uh, kind of a neat thing we put in is this bypass valve here and this goes in after the pump uh, so the pump has to be engaged has to be open but then we're able to blend back in some non ro water and you see we're at a little over a hundred TDS we didn't want to remove all of it. If we crank down on this thing and turn it all the way off, it actually goes down to single digits, which is not good. It's actually too clean. We want to put a little more back into it. So uh, there we go. So this is going to make sure our water is perfect. Then we have a couple gauges here. We can check our osmotic pressure differentials, uh, check on the system. Uh, it, goes out and goes to these big storage tanks. These are two 20 gallon um, bladder RO tanks. Allow us to keep our volume up from there. We keep three quarter line that goes to uh, a final GAC filter, a, a activated carbon filter. This takes out any of the taste that would have been inside the tanks. Uh, and then there's a little uh, distributor and then our lines go up. We have one that goes over to our cold brew filling station, to the hose. We get our three quarter uh, hose line. We get a lot of flow for our cold brew, which is super handy dandy. Then the other one goes up and goes over. And we follow it, it goes over to the coffee shop side. And we have, Wonderland. goes into our coffee maker and espresso maker. So we, put a lot of thought and effort into it and think we've come up with a pretty good solution. So uh, yeah, if you stop by, come over and take a look at our new water filter.